MVP. It's in my blood. So every fall, make my annual trip in October. When the foliage starts to fall and the woodcock are migrating south. I've been coming to the UP as long as I can remember. Some of my earliest memories are of coming up here back in the 70s with my dad and his buddies when they would come up bow hunting and just being able to ride around with him and his buddies. It's just a special place for me. So to come back every October now with my buddies and brothers and everybody who can make it up to camp. It's just, there's something about October in the Upper Peninsula. Howdy folks, Jody Marler with Fish Camp and today I'm with my great friend, what's your name? We just met at a truck stop. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Logan, <Yeah>. oh, perfect. <laughs> Anyways, flushed some birds uh, already and uh, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> One of the great things about the UP is that they still actively log up here. For grouse and woodcock, this is the number one ingredient for sustaining populations and prime habitat. There's so much land and endless roads in the UP to find spot after spot following your dogs while finding birds for miles and miles. And of course you shouldn't do this with an ugly gun. I've got a sweet little Rosini 20 gauge that swings so nice and is a treat to carry. First shot is usually a seven and a half with an improved cylinder. Follow up with number sixes and a modified depending on foliage. And of course I've got Cassie and Molly. I wouldn't even consider hunting birds without following one of our girls. It's all about the dogs. A lot of people do. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are at Moose Tracks. When did we start hunting here? Probably eight seven, years. Yeah, ago. yep, something like that. Eight. It's Accident. always been pretty, con we're going with eight. Yep. Always been pretty consistent, but definitely over the years, more guys know about this Amazing. spot. And, but the great thing about the UP is all of the, uh, the land, the paper company, and uh, plenty of land to be able to hunt. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's more than Alaska. Almost as much as Alaska. No, not even close, but nothing close <laughs> to it. But yeah, we're going to fact check that. <laughs> yeah. Good, Cassie. Hey, come, come. Yeah, that's awesome. That shot coming right at you is hard. Yeah, the one going away though. Rocket. Is easy. And then if you hit it, it's destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> now, if it was a grouse, we wouldn't have a chance. Because by the time we had so much speed going. 
Come here, Cass. All right, Cassie. Oh, look at that. It is. It's a spruce grouse. This was actually my first spruce grouse, if you couldn't tell. So now we switch gears and on one of my favorite lakes up here. I've been fishing this forever. Great walleye lake, a um, lot of great small mouths, even some, the, the pike you catch are usually a pretty decent fish. So just kind of needed a break from, from muskies, you know, had a good day bird hunting today. Put up quite a few birds, but yeah, switching gears and gonna relax and catch some walleyes. So, a bunch of fish down there. Yeah, as soon as it, oh, ho, ho. the pike, not a good one either. Don't shake off my minnow, please. shaking that's a nice walleye <laughs> Man, I just love the color of these walleyes up north. That golden black, and they are definitely one of my favorite fish to eat. I look forward to this trip every fall. 
And each summer, we all start talking about who's going up this year. Everyone says they'll be up there, and I'm always surprised how guys just don't make it each year. I get it when emergencies and serious business takes precedent, but what the bloody hell is so important that you can't make it to camp in the fall? I'm not sure if it's being 50 years old now or losing friends and family along the way, but I realize now that there's fewer Octobers ahead of me than ones behind. You've got to be at camp this year. The perfection of life with a gun dog, like the perfection of autumn, is disturbing because you know, even as it begins, that it must end. Time bestows the gift and steals it in the process. George Bird Evans